asking yourself, what did I just see? That was the intro to Kid Picks, and that drawing program has inspired me to do this project. During free time at Girls Inc., girls are given opportunity to play on the computers. Volunteering during free time, I happened to notice what they were playing. And these were general flash games where they were doing hair and makeup for cartoons. And I thought about my own experiences in computer lab, and two things stuck out. Kid Picks and Zoom Beanies, and I thought, how can I provide that experience to the girls at Girls Inc? MORE TOPPINGS! I looked for an online drawing program that could perform some of the same features as Kid Picks for free that girls could access during their computer time. I looked at individual sites, educational resource websites, and organizational websites like Denver Art Museum and NASA to find uh, educational resources that were also fun. And so I managed to find drawing programs, art programs, lots of math puzzles, um, as well as literacy games and um, some narrative story games for kids in first grade all the way through sixth or seventh grade. I played most of the games myself and looked for things that were interesting um, but also challenging for elementary school level students. And this led me to some really amazing resources. Uh, I found a uh, adventure game designed for girls that involved math and science. And the premise of it was that a girl's teacher had gone back in time and gotten lost and you had to do these math puzzles to uh, retrieve her. And I thought, well, this is much more rewarding than, say, cutting hair of a little cartoon character. Just as there are many online flash games and puzzles, there are also that many online educational games, too. And I thought, that I could combine um, a list of different websites that girls could go to that were safe, educational, and fun. I realized that the beauty of these games were that they were online. The problem with games like Kid Picks and Zumbinis is that they're, they have a cost and they're only associated with one particular computer or one particular school building, but these games could be accessed in the classroom to reinforce what girls were learning or um, by the girls themselves when they were at home. And uh, additionally, with the games, a lot of the game websites had resources to homework help and research help, which would eventually teach girls computer literacy, learning how to research and how to use the internet as a resource. As I was researching educational websites, I came across other websites with programs to teach children and young adults uh, the basics of computer programming. And this could be used for kids to design their own web portfolios, games, 3D animation, stories, pretty much anything you can imagine. The first one I came across was Scratch from MIT, uh, and this is designed for um, kids in probably fourth grade through twelfth grade. And the second program I came across was Alice, and this is probably for more advanced students. So may not be useful in the Girls Inc. Youth Center, but could possibly transfer over for, to the Teen Center. What you can do with all of this information and all of these websites or games that girls can utilize um, is that eventually they'll learn computer skills and these skills can be translated into designing their own web page which can get their artwork out online, um, their opinions, give them a voice, uh, empower them. Um, and in 
this new technological society, knowing how to use technology to your advantage um, is invaluable. This project has inspired me to learn more about teaching computer skills. Um, I have a background in um, computer graphics and I, I think that um, having some kind of program at, at Girls Inc. or another institution that would teach young children how to program um, would be something that I would love to be a part of. And um, I think you can use these resources in the classroom um, to address uh, students who may be more interactive, more visual, uh, students who like video games. If you can get them to play computer games that are engaging them in um, math problems, geometry, even calculus, you, you can teach them in a way that you may not have otherwise been able to reach them. And so having this list of uh, just games and ed educational resources will allow the kids to explore for themselves. Um, like this project, I had one thing led to another led to another. So um, Kid Picks has eventually led me to computer animation. And um, I think the same can be said uh, in education as well.